hi everyone welcome to this video in this video i will discuss about power apps i just want to discuss regarding a demo that how you can create a small uh, power apps in canvas apps and how we can create a power automate flow that will be called this power automate will be called from this power app on button click and it will create a dynamics it will create a sharepoint list item i have a list item here lib request where i have columns like uh, name from date and to date and region for leave and i just want to create line items from this canvas app through this power automate so very interesting uh, be attentive uh, while listening this so first what i have done i have created a canvas app and uh, in the canvas app i have uh, added some text levels and text inputs this is for uh, name of the employee and this is from date uh, to accept the date value and i have also taken uh, to date which is a date uh, date time picker and there is another text input to capture the reason for leave and uh, i have also added a submit right i have dragged the submit button uh, a button here and changed the uh, value to submit now once the, de the design is done i will i will associate the power automate for this button so before that what i have done i have to go to power apps power automate and created a new power automate and i have designed the trigger as power apps because i want to initiate this flow from the canvas app that's why the trigger would be power apps now in the power apps after this trigger is done i have added an action called as sharepoint create item action i have selected the site address and the uh, list item because the list item name is leave request so you have to select this uh, list item here and when when i want to assign the respective fields for this item for example name from to and reason for leave then i can just click the title uh, click the field and here i can click on show, uh, see more you will see ask in power uh, power apps this is important because when you click this it will automatically create a parameter that will be uh, pulled from power automate like that from field i can click on see more and i can click on ask me in power automate power apps same for two i can use uh, the uh, ask in power automate and i can also click on this ask in power apps so all these items are created automatically by clicking this ask in power apps that will be passed as a parameter from canvas apps so once it is done my flow is done let me change this uh, raise a so uh, let, let's say raise a leave raise leave so i will just save it now this power automate will be called in canvas app on the button click so i will go here and click on this submit and i will click on this power automate now i will choose this one now once you choose this it will automatically add this raise leave, raise leave which is the name of this uh, power flow uh, power automate and after that it will click uh, it will give dot then run so this run method is important to initiate the flow by this button now this run method takes as many parameters as it wants here so as it is it requires four items so you should pass the four items here okay now the first parameter is the name so i will input here so the first value is text input one you can see here now i will mention here the first parameter is text input text input one let me uh, enlarge this okay so the first parameter is text input one i is capital right text and put one dot text so this is my first parameter and this is my second parameter and uh, right receives four expected three so once it is done i can so let me delete for now 
let me copy this okay and i'll delete this now to associate the power automate using a button you have to click the button and click this power automate and click this because this power automate is displayed because i have created this power automate here now click on this item now it will try to add uh, for that button event so you have to go to actions uh, tabs to associate power automate for a button right so once it is added you can see here the function displaying raise leave and uh, dot run then first you have to add these parameters right so these are the parameters you have to pass the first is from date so from date is my this this uh, field field value so i will go here and write down this so this is the date picker one selected date and i have converting to i am converting to text and using this format so as i have to pass as a date so we have to use this text inside that the uh, value and this is the format okay now i will again pass the second parameter second parameter is the to date so to date is it is uh, date picker one underscore one so one underscore one dot selected value and the third is uh, region for leave region for leave means this one text input one underscore one dot text so text input one underscore one dot text right now the fourth item is uh, now the fourth item is title right now I, this is the title so I can put the title text input one so text input one dot text I'm just assigning the uh, field values for that um, power automate okay okay so now once it is so what i have done it is also asking some more information right like title one title two okay because i have already enabled this that's why it is asking let me go to here uh, okay it is already created so i would not have uh, created this okay anyway so uh, let me let me create a new one okay i will create a new uh, power automate because it is uh, creating some confusion so click on this automated cloud flow click skip and here you want to click power apps and click on this power apps click new steps here i want to use sharepoint and here you have to choose the action create item and once you click create item you have to search the site address for which uh, where the item list item is presented so this is my list item this is the leave request so i will go here now i can assign the dynamic value now for the title i can click ask in power apps so it will create automatically the parameter for from you have to click see more otherwise you cannot see this ask in power automate for two also click on this see uh, more click on this for two and uh, click see more then click ask any power apps now we have assigned the parameters and give a name new uh, rage leave now save it now i can call this power automate from canvas app right now i can delete this uh, let me copy this because i want to use uh, letter stage so i will delete this and now i will go to click the submit button go to action and click on power automate now i can see the new uh, power automate click on this so this is the new flow that i have just created and once i have uh, once i create this the new rise uh, new rise leave power automate will be displayed here with a run method now it is asking four parameters you can see here now i can assign by one by one the title is uh, uh, text input one dot text so text input one sorry this is one dot text 
and the second parameter is from date right so the from date will be uh, let me go here so date picker one so it should be date picker one dot selected date with this format and the second one is to date so this is one underscore one date picker one underscore one dot selected value and the fourth is region for leave region for leave is text input one underscore one this is the id right so i'll go here and input text input one underscore one dot text now i am done with my uh, okay any error is given here no okay now once it is done i will run it to check if it is working fine or not i will give here let's say sanjay pradhan and date i want from today and i want to take up to 22 and region let's say sick leave now once i will submit it will process or it will try to uh, create this record in uh, sharepoint right so it is trying to create the record if there is any issue it will throw see it is created now the item is added in my sharepoint list so this is how we can create uh, a canvas app that will call internally to a power automate to create specific records right so thank you guys so uh, please join as a membership and also please subscribe this channel so uh, to get more videos on power platform and dynamics 365 thank you